What's up, family? Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Tony, here with another tarot card reading for you today. Going to get into some messages from Lysir's tarot deck. See what the messages are from the universe. What does the divine have to say in regards to what's going on with you today? What energies are coming towards you? What energies are currently surrounding you? What's the message for today? All right, so um, welcome to the new week. We're in the second week of the new year, 2022. Hopefully all of your dreams are coming true. <laughs> Did that rhyme? Um, it's nice and breezy at the park today. Pretty hot, shouldn't have wore this sweater out here, but hey, I'm a hoodie type dude, so the hoodie's what I do. More rhymes. <laughs> So this one isn't necessarily for any um, zodiac sign in particular. I guess this could be in all signs. Uh, we're just gonna be doing a little bit of channel messages. Gonna just pull some cards and see what the story is. Uh, so let's get into it. Grounding the reading today, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel so that we continue to grow. Grab uh, your energy signature, claim the reading if you like. But so far, we have uh, the Ten of Pentacles. So this is monies. This is financial options. This could be institutions, um, developing your monies or monies coming your way. This is legacies. This could also be will. This could be physical health of your family as well, some type of family reunion or gathering. This could be work associates. Um, I'm getting festivities. This could be gifts, so okay, post-Christmas gifts. So after the Ten of Pentacles, which is grounding you, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So we're dealing with a lucrative situation here. I'm not sure if this is a new job, a new business associates, new co-workers, but someone is harvesting at this time. This could be a payday coming up. We have the Fourth Pentacle, I'm sorry, the Fourth Cups. Someone is more about their finances and less about the monies. The universe is trying to offer you a gift. Again, this could be some type of um, love relationship between, this could be fraternization. A coworker coming in with romantic feelings, but you're not wanting to mix business with pleasure. How is this looking? Yeah, you're like, there's harvesting to be done. There's overtime, there's work to be done. So you're refusing to put your emotions into uh, something that you would perceive as being distractive or distracting. The high priestess could be going through some type of life lesson or something very important going on in your life right now. Now, again, women think that love solves everything, but love can't pay the bills. I know we've heard women say that to men a lot of times, but again, women prefer men to lay up under them all day long or come to their beck and call and whims. Again, a man with time has no money and a man with no money or a man with money has no time or however that saying goes. Six of Pentacles, yeah, equal reci reciprocation. We have the nine and the six, knowing how I feel about the reversible symbolizations of the nines and the sixes. So we have synchronicities. We have whatever job or whatever work or field that you're involved in at this time. I'm not sure if it's emotionally fulfilling uh, for you, but it's providing you finances at this time. You could be siphoning off what you're learning here, the high priestess, occult knowledge, uh, secret wisdom, secrets on how the business is run in order to develop your own finances, to develop your own um, institutions as well. I'm not seeing uh, content creation as of yet, not quite yet seeing seven of wands though this is uh of course for me seven of wands is your boundaries your physical boundaries your uh, spirituality this is you trying to maintain peace this is uh keeping certain types of friendships keeping certain types of uh, familiar co um, connections queen of wands yeah you're purifying your aura here or you're, you're purifying your workspace here. I'm guessing that's what this is, the living in, this, in the society that we live in now. Maybe you have to go to work every morning, which is what I do. 
um, I go to work every morning and I wipe off my entire desk, my headphones, you know, everything that I use with hand sanitizer or uh, wipes. What are those things called? Those uh, alcohol wipes or those Clorox clean wipes. This is what I'm getting here. Now again, that could be considered baptism. I'm not sure if you're going through some sort of baptism or some, some sort of initiation at this time. Ace of Cups. This is love here or a gift from the universe. Uh, this could be a relationship coming in here at this time. This could be the pursuit of happiness. Getting chariot. Something's definitely traveling towards you very fast. This, this could, this looks like a love relationship. We have the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Cups. And then the chariot, which is cancer, transformational energy. We do know relationships transform us. Now, one thing to be said is if you have to change or if you have to pretend in order to be in a relationship or get married, you shouldn't be in that relationship or getting married. That's not to say you don't adjust or you don't accommodate people or you don't try to learn your partner. But um, one thing you don't want to do is jeopardize your... Um, your boundaries here jeopardize your integrity here. I'm getting integrity with seven of wands. We're also getting um, we're getting the magician. So the magician in the tarot is the master manifester. It's the master manipulator, of course. This is someone that is hardworking. It's someone. I mean, they don't necessarily have to work hard. Although, you know, we are in the tangible plane, so everything you do here is hard work. If you come outside in the middle of the day, it's hard work just to walk down the street because the sun is shining on you. It's causing you to sweat. <laughs> that's like um, not high intensity training, but that's uh, you're getting your heart rate up. That's uh, exercise. So, again, that's, this could be something as well. Someone could be trying to maintain uh, their physicality here, the physicality here, maintaining here. This could be a workout, either running, jogging something like that traveling the crazy thing is a couple nights ago and you see the darndest things and this is another reason dudes are so extroverted like they do so much there's a white guy that was jogging through my neighborhood in the middle of the night it was like eight nine at night and i guess he must have had i don't know a friend maybe his lady driving behind him and I've watched this for two, three blocks. It was literally like a mile. So literally this guy was jogging in the middle of the street and he had someone driving behind him with their lights flashed, flashed on him. It was the most craziest thing that you would see, sort of like a movie scene. What else we got? We got six of cups. So was that a six, six, six? Yeah. Definitely a relationship coming towards you. This is spiritual flirtation. Uh, this could be children involved in a situation as well. So we have six of pentacles, six of cups, and then we have the nine of pentacles. So this situation could involve money or this could be a, a relationship that's going to be very financially um, grounding for you. There could be uh, an offer of, okay, I'm getting marriage. And then, okay, I'm getting... Here comes love, here comes marriage, here comes the baby in the baby carriage. So that's what I'm getting. We even get a carriage here, chariot, travel. Something coming towards you very fast. Now this could be a field trip. You, this could be like a, uh, literally a school field trip for children. Uh, what else am I getting? Major Arcana, we're getting the High Priestess, which is Pisces, we're getting chariot. Which is Cancer, we're getting a Magician, which is Aries. Gemini. Seven of Wands and the Chariot, numerology seven. Dealing with, uh, yeah, your boundaries here. Certain people cannot come towards you because of the type of aura that you possess or the type of uh, boundaries that you set up uh, for yourself. Maybe your presence alone. Maybe you dress weird. You come off as some sort of witch or 
um, maybe, yeah, just your personality or your energy. Again, you open up your mouth and you sound different than what people would perceive you are. This is, uh, again, what I was talking about earlier in the reading. This is stereotypes. Now, the crazy part is a man, if a man has boundaries or has standards about himself, women would look at that as a man. They would have negative connotations toward that. They wouldn't know how to handle themselves as a man if a man told them that he had boundaries and he had standards and that you can't come into my presence. What do we have for our high court cards? We have the Queen of Cups, a feminine here or someone dealing in feminine healing energy here. This could be some sort of resting moment. Um, could be dealing with a female therapist, maybe a nurse. Mm, there's a lot of psychic potential here. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the High Priestess. There's definitely a psychic involved in this situation here. There's love as well. Maybe you're going to a love. Uh, maybe you're going to a a psychic for a love reading. Or someone is enamored with uh, a psychic like there's a muse there's muse activity here now interestingly enough kings of the olden days yes they had their queens but they also had their high priestess they also you know a King Arthur had himself a Merlin you know Beowulf had uh, that little creature <laughs> uh, that he would get advice from or that he would get uh, enlightenment from or that he would gain his an anointing from an upper hand on how to lead his castle you know the these men would spend more uh, most if not more of their time with their witches or their uh, their chiefs uh, than with their spouses you know, there are a lot of Ill illegitimate babies is what I'm getting here very interesting stories for other days <laughs> it's always the lost, the lost child or the immaculate uh, conception, right? Jesus Christ is what I'm getting. Hmm. But someone's definitely manifesting love and finances. Um, not if not sure if they're focused on one and the same, but we're getting heavy messages of maybe they're trying to use their finances to come towards you. I'm not necessarily getting that they're getting that they're trying to use. Hmm. This is interesting here. Could be. I mean, this could be some type of pay to play service. This could be some type of vacation. Someone offering you some type of vacation like to be flown out or something like that or sending you tickets to um, come and see them or something like that. Again, this could be as simple as a date or just going somewhere that you're not used to going here. They're trying to manifest, again, a whole new world for you. They're trying to manifest something that you've never seen before or something that you've never come across before. Uh, there's a lot of manifestation. They have very strong energy, though. Nine of Pentacles, very financially stable. Six of Pentacles, they don't mind uh, offering. Uh, they know that um, they're able to reciprocate. There's very high spiritual systems and values going on here as well. I mean, you could be dealing with a virgin or someone that could be virgin-like or doesn't really like being out with people much. Fourth Cups energy here. Yeah, they have a lot of boundaries about themselves, like emotionally and physically. This could even be an interracial relationship as well. They could look at you as like opposites attract for whatever reason. They could they view themselves as your opposite. Or may seem like yeah, it is like it's some something is is happening here. It's unorthodox. Opposites attract. We definitely have strong messages of love coming in here. Two people working together, or we see the two horses working together to pull this traveler here. So they're wanting to have a connection here with you. Maybe again, this is someone in the background here, someone that you've grown up with or known you since childhood, or you has have some type of past connection here. Maybe went to the same school or grown up in the same city. They've, uh, they, okay, so they kept a close eye on you and watched you develop and manifest over time. <laughs> I don't know if this is spying. Again, this could be a muse. They're enamored with you, though. Ace of Cups. This is how you they view you, and this is how you make them feel. Just going off the imagery alone. And they're trying to think 
uh, how do I come towards this person? Do I come towards this person with money? Do I accommodate their business? Do I show patronage? Um, they're slowly trying to develop some confidence about themselves. It seems like they're already confident, but you give off some type of weird energy. That's interesting. Like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel so that we continue to grow. <laughs> Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.